Today we are diving into a crucial topic surrounding the elections 2024. The Election Commission of India given first response regarding the usage of deep fake in the electoral landscape. The ECA given instruction to political parties regarding controlling the deep fake content related to the elections. The misleading content which is spreading the social media, it has to be controlled by the political parties and action has to be taken on the original posting. Let us discuss details regarding this deep fake and deep fake use in the election process. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about following four components. Why, why it is in news, working mechanism, ECA stop, I mean say, say, saying on the deep fake, what remains unclear in ECA statement and the syllabus mapping of this is, it is related to gender studies paper 2 and gender studies paper 3. This is the syllabus mapping and the context is Election Commission of India has issued its initial response regarding the usage of deep fake during the election period and they instructed the political parties to refrain from distributing the deep fake content via social media and if such content is identified parties are required to take down that content within three hours notifying the individual who posted that content. So this here what are the uh, key takeaways key takeaways are Election Commission of India given notice to all political parties and all the political parties they have to respond within how much time they have to respond within three hours and within three hours they have to give notice whoever posted that content. So this is the thing and here you have to know whether the Election Commission of India banned the usage of uh, artificial intelligence not exactly. Okay. The ECA did not ban the usage of AI, but it is only saying that the usage of AI, that AI should not, should not give some wrong impression, should not disseminate deceptive or fraudulent material, or it should not misrepresent the political parties, or it should not misguide the voters. Apart from that, so AI can be used. Here the deep technology, deep, I mean deep fake, we will discuss about the deep fake as we are going into this and of course we will discuss about some of the challenges to implement these directions of the ECA also we will cover in this video. So the only thing here you have to understand ECA did not ban or prohibit the usage of AI. It is only saying that AI which is implementing in deep fake, okay, that should not be used because deep fake is all about impersonating another person with an intent of spreading the negative news okay so that should be uh, you know like it should not be practiced because that will not create the level playing field to the political parties defect technology leverage so defect technology it, it uses deep learning with artificial intelligence so that it will produce fabricated videos that means not the original one fabricated videos fabricated photos fabricated news that appears authenticated but they are actually not authenticated one. They are the wrongly produced. These techniques involves, okay, it may, deep fake involves, it may be the involving faces, altering the facial expression, generating the voices and fabricating the news content. It may be any of the following three things, okay. It may be the generating the similar kind of voice by using the uh, deep face in calling to otis, okay, and it may using the video content or it may be the fabricating the news. So working mechanism, how the deep fake technology works? Obviously here deep fake technology very frequently it includes two components that you have to know. They are auto encoders, okay. This auto encoders includes encoder as well as the decoder. First this whatever the data we, it takes for example, if you would like to produce a deep fake video similar to original video, first that original video content will be given to the this artificial technology platform. That platform initially that input data will be deassembled into different different pieces okay? and that will be reconstructed back and that will be encoded into okay? encoded into generating the new image or the similar kind of video or similar kind of voice or similar kind of news content. So here decoder as well as the encoder both will be used so that is the reason we call this as a auto encoder system and it uses artificial neural network a double n it in, 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 composing 
both encoder as well as the decoder comprising both encoder and decoder and here this defect software functions by employing this multiple auto encoders okay i told you about one auto encoder like one auto encoder includes one decoder as well as one encoder like that multiple auto encoders assembled together so that they produce this defect voice as well as the defect faces and defect content by integrating these kind of several auto encoders when you are integrating several auto encoders that software can effectively generate convincing fake images as well as the fake videos next eci on defects so now what are the objections of the eci regarding the defects so the objections are flagging erosion of trust obviously because when defect is usage is prevalent in the election voter don't know what is the original one what is the authenticated one so overall voter may lose trust on the process of election and the election mechanism and the election institutions okay that is very danger to a, country, a democratic country like india the use of manipulated distorted and edited content on a social media platform it has a potential to influence voters in unfairly and it may divide the society on the lines of caste religion or other factors this occurs by undermining the established mechanism of the electoral pro process or it may underline the undermine the established institutions in the election process as well second one protection of women sometimes eci i mean eci is saying that by using this defect technology one of the most vulnerable section is going to be the women sometimes women the women in political parties even though they did not say something this they are creating defect technology that they are saying in other way so the eci told parties not to share content on social media that included impersonation of another person including political parties or their representatives and it is also asking the political parties not to post any content that disrespecting or goes against the dignity of women you all know that even fundamental duty is also saying that we have to protect the dignity and uh, we should not make any derogatory comments against the women and we have to promote the brotherhood ship among the indians that is in within our culture also okay next reporting of fakes political parties they been asked by the election commission that they should report all the unlawful information and the fake using fake user accounts related to deep fake in social media and they have to report it to the election commission of india so that is about the reporting of fake profiles have to be done un unpromptly by the election commissions and political parties to the election commission next grievance committee in case for example a political a particular political party reported about another political party regarding the fake accounts are using of deep fake but still that particular political party did not take any action in this kind of conditions even they can approach to the grievance appellate committee which formed under the it act 2021 okay last year it ministry set up this three this kind of committees to take complaints from users who are not happy with the social media platforms that if social media platforms whether whether they are taking action based on the reporting from the users or not if they have any complaints they can report to this grievance committee that is the mandate under it act rules 2021 next 3 hours deadline the ec instructed the political parties to remove any defect content audio video news as soon as that kind of particular uh, issue it come to the notice of the polit political party it has to act and within 3 hours it has to remove the such kind of content otherwise whoever the aggrieved part person they can complain to the grievance committee next eci statement is somewhat unclear on which ways first one is real outcomes the thing is whatever the eci given directions we have to see what kind of real outcomes it can generate because already two phases of the elections almost like three phases of the elections already finished and by this time already election parties they leveraged this kind of deep fakes enough okay but of course better late than never let's see how this will give or bring real outcomes okay in the election process next uncertain language election commission of india is not clear that you know 
political parties they have to take down deep fakes when it comes to their notice and when it's their party official handles are posting they should give warning that means just warning means uh, it is not clear whether the party has to expel them or suspend them no clear action just giving warning is very unclear and status and other social media platform in this particular issue eca did not clarify about deep fake uh, media propagation in whatsapp okay because whatsapp is also one of the widely used social media platform in general next and sometimes political parties also using the a generated calls also this directive of eca to political parties it did not cover a generated calls voice calls okay parties are already they have been using a based real time calls to voters and these calls are happening outside the purview of social media platforms but they can be potentially weaponized by parties or candidates and the eca letters does not deal with this aspect as well so these are some of the aspects which are not clear regarding the eca letters to political parties let's see last video's question consider the following statement about the coral reefs they are formed by coral polyps held together by calcium carbonate s yes. they can be found only in tropical and subtropical water bodies no they are highly adaptable organisms no they are sensitive gulf of manar has the richest coral diversity in india no okay in fact andaman and nicobar has the richest coral reefs in india next today's video question consider the following statements the election commission of india is a five member body the union ministry of home affairs decides the election schedule for the conduct of both general elections and by elections election commission resolves the disputes related to splits mergers of recognized political parties pick the correct statement main question discuss the role of the election commission of india in the light of evolution of moral code of conduct this is main question as we reached the end of this video we just will do the quick revision in this video we discussed about the a and the deep fake technology and the take of eci on the deep fake the directions of the eca regarding the usage of deep fake in elections and some of the uncertainties and uncertainties around the eci letter to the political parties so these are the objects i um, these are the things we discussed in this particular video i hope you understood and i hope this video is helpful in your preparation Thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind